I think the way to go about licensing now is not necessarily a full-blown merit-based application, but definitely not a lottery system. You have to be able to combine the two and really get a nice blend going. The merit-based process, there's a lot that goes into it. You have to be able to deconstruct everything about your company and then rebuild it, create a blueprint to your company, and then present it. And that's everything from your business plan, your revenue model, your marketing plan, your branding efforts, your site location, your security plan, your compliance issues. So when you break it all up, usually anywhere from 25 to 35% of your application is your operational SOPs and procedural stuff. Anywhere from 20 to 30% usually makes up security and compliance. Your host community pact is usually about 10 to 15%, 20%. You get all these different factors that goes into it. The problem is a lot of these companies, they've been successful in multiple states. They know what works. They know what doesn't work. So for a new guy coming in, it's incredibly difficult to compete because one of the things that the state doesn't want to happen is they don't want to issue licenses to companies that are ultimately going to end up failing because the success of the company obviously translates into tax dollars for the city, tax dollars for the state, it translates into jobs. Now, a lot of these companies, when they go to apply, they're able to say, look, I've got a license in five different states. I am successful. This is what I've been paying in taxes to all these jurisdictions. You can be the next. Versus the new guy that doesn't really have that experience. They don't have that past success that they can point to and saying, this is what we've done, which is why you see a lot of these multi-state operators that are just dominating the licensing scene. As you get more states that come online, that gap is going to widen up a lot more, which is why